Hey, welcome to my weekly vlogs. I'm starting my final major project and it is compulsory like any other unit I've done in my college course that I do weekly vlogs. But instead of um, vlogs, it's a vlog. Yeah, I've decided to video it because I think it'd be more easier to put out what I want to say through blog. Vlog, whatever it is. But uh, this is uh, week one of my weekly vlogs and I'm going to discuss with you what I did this week. So the first question says, how did you find coming up with an idea that challenged you enough for your final major project? So throughout the history of my course, I've done a lot of ideas. Uh, for example, there was a save game, music video, pretty much just every single, um, every single unit that I've done, I've pretty much had to really think for. But what I've done is that I've put all my good ideas into my previous unit and not my main one, my final major project. So it's going to, it was a bit difficult thinking of something that would actually you know work. So what I thought of is I had a very, very, very quick brainstorm of just three ideas and I think I could elaborate further on them as I go into the course. So the three of them were, it was a music video based on uh, the scene from Baby Driver where he's being chased by uh, his co-conspirators and the police to the song Focus by Hocus Pocus. Really good rock anthem, I think I could imitate something like that with a production. My next one was about, um, based on a, my, one of my favourite YouTubers, Brandon Rogers. Because, uh, you know, he likes to, you know, he likes to clone himself or like, imitate himself because, you know, in, in like, you know, let's say this is Brandon Rogers, like one of his characters, and here's another one of his characters play, played by himself, and they kind of do their own thing. But, um, <coughs> I was hoping to do something like that, just so I can sort of practice my editing skills and also, you know, story writing. I thought I could do something really good with that. Um, but I was informed by my teachers that w that wouldn't really be good for a film production and more of a YouTube series, which is what Brandon did. And my last one, which was the idea that I went with, was a sort of idea of a traditional 1950s mafia that has, um, you know, spread into a uh, modern day society, but they're having trouble with adapting to modern day crime and technology. I went with the last one because I feel like it would give me more of a challenge. I think to do a lot of research for it. I think to, you know, research into the specific type of crime genre, crime drama, and also, you know, researching into 1940s kind of lifestyle and see how I can bring that into modern day times. So let's say, you know, uh, thinking off the top of my head, there's a. Uh, there used to be kingpins in the drug trade, but now just a local street gang hoodie mob have taken it over. A lot of things I can elaborate on with the store, and I think it's probably one of the most flexible out of the three. Next question was, how has writing the proposal helped you with finalising your ideas? So, the proposal gave me a, a bit of an insight into what I was doing last unit. I think, yeah, last unit was my short, or it was another short film. It was uh, Hide and Seek. That one, um, it was pretty much writing my proposal. There was a lot of things that went wrong from what my weekly blogs have told me from that unit, which was um, it was uh, it, there was a lot of things that went wrong with that. And I just saying, you know, put it, writing that in my proposal, and you know, imagining what could go wrong, and just you know, imagine that not happening again in this unit. It you know, it, it helped me with my ideas because. There was things in that uh, that project that oof, didn't really work, but I insisted on doing it anyway. So I don't want to do that in this unit and scuff it up. But yeah, no, the proposal was really useful because it um, highlighted my previous mistakes and you know also uh, my um, my new ideas, you know, and just what what's to come. And if I piece those together. It's, it makes a good proposal and I think it will really work for my production. Next question asks about why how the feedback helped me adapt my idea. So I made a survey for my uh, for my final idea and I was just you know I sent that out and elaborated on it and a lot of people actually put um, 
a lot of people liked it and they also suggested some things for example because it's a crime mafia movie I think it should include um, a shootout I was I was thinking this my respondents were thinking this and I think overall that it would be a really good idea because shootouts are I think I'm pretty good at them with the with what happened with save game with all the uh, the, the gunshots I think that, that was a really good um, edit for me so I think if I continue this, work what I'm good at, I think I can get a good grade. Next question asks if I'm on track for this week. Yes and no. Actually, no. I have some things to do from the date. It's the 29th, I think. So from this day, I still have a... Um... No, I, I, I still have some stuff to do. Uh, it's not like, you know, major things. It's just bits and pieces that, I've, that I need to touch up on. For example, which is the next question, is what I need to complete. I think it's some of the analysis on um, just my final idea, and just I need to do some more touching ups on that. I need to analyze my surveys and things like that, so it's really not that bad. Okay, so that concludes this week's weekly vlog. Or vlog, I need to get that right, but yes. Hopefully, uh, you know, this was informative enough for you. I'll see you next week. Bye.